How to submit a journeyman license renewal application. Before beginning, ensure you have all the information and documentation that's required. Let's review and see what is needed. You will receive notifications by email 180, 90, 60, 30, and zero days from your license expiration date. It's important to have your PEUs completed well in advance of your expiration since the system will not allow completion of your application without the correct number of PEUs. Sponsors will be inputting class attendance rosters and they will need to be contacted if the PEUs are not credited to your license. Renewal applications require the following documents, a state issued ID, a current photo, and make sure you're not wearing a hat or sunglasses. The photo needs to capture the top of your shoulders to the top of your head on a plain white background. Set your camera to the lowest resolution and size. Make sure the max file size is 100 kilobytes. Use JPEG format only. Take the picture in landscape, so in other words, if you're using a cell phone, turn it sideways. Save the photo with the file name as your last name and then your first name. So for example, dojohn.jpg. Don't use any special characters within that file name. And keep in mind your application will be returned if these requirements are not met. Sign into the licensing portal with the user account that you created previously. On this page, select the License tab. Now select Renew Application. Renew application will actually appear 180 days prior to your license expiration date. Clicking on this will open the renewal process. The applicant, mechanical, and journeyman sections should already be populated. If not, then click Select from Account if that's available, or Edit if receiving an error when trying to continue your application. The employer should be displayed. The employer contact information pop-up form appears if you select edit. The name of the business is required. Please note, both the applicant and employer contact information pop-ups look identical. Ensure you are updating the right one. Click the continue button, then continue application after the pop-up disappears. In the continuing education, you will have no records displayed. Click Select from Contact to add your classes. The Add New button is not used. Scroll to the bottom of the pop-up and select the classes for the current three-year license cycle. Do not select Record with Carryover PEUs. After the items are checked, click the Select button. The list is now populated. You can review the details by clicking Actions, then Continue Application. An error message will occur if you entered a class taken that was outside your three-year cycle or you don't have the proper PEU total. Have your documented training with you to renew so the proper classes can be selected. Let's upload the supporting documentation. Click Add to start uploading. When the pop-up appears, click on Add and locate the file to upload. After the file is selected, select Continue. Select the type of record that was just uploaded. After the file is selected, select the Add button and a pop-up reappears. Continue this process until the current photo for ID and your state-issued ID files are uploaded. Then click Save. Make sure to review the supporting documentation. Once you've completed it, continue your application. Time to review. Make sure that everything you entered was accurate and the documents you uploaded were the correct type, because if you do not, the application will be returned for any required updates before processing. Click on the box, then continue your application. On this screen, review your fees and then check out. On this screen, you can pay your fees in the cart, 
make sure to review, and then check out. And that's basically it. You will receive emails notifying you of your application status as it's being processed. Thanks for watching.